From Diabetes Daily Digest, my name's Scott. I'm a practicing physician assistant working in endocrinology. I'm also a type 1 diabetic. If you're interested in diabetes-related news, tech talk, product reviews, please go and subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with new content all the time. So the Libre 3 was recently released. And what's so exciting about this new CGM is that recent studies have shown that it is the most accurate CGM on the market with an MARD score of 7.9. Now, if you're not familiar with the term mean absolute relative difference or MARD, really all you need to know is the lower the number, the more accurate the CGM. So the fact that the Libre 3 came in at a 7.9 MARD compared to the 9.3 of the Libre 2, well, that was a pretty big deal. But from my understanding, the algorithm, the software that provides the glucose readings for both the Libre 2 and the Libre 3 is essentially unchanged. So this made me curious to see what I would find in a real life test, comparing the accuracy of the Libre 2 to the Libre 3 for 14 days. So what I did was I placed both a Libre 3 and a Libre 2 right next to each other on my arm. Same location, so there wouldn't be any variables. And then I compared the readings to a finger stick for 14 days. So let's go over what I found because the results were rather surprising. All right, so day one. So like I talked about before, to gauge the accuracy for each CGM, I'll be comparing the readings to a blood glucose test. And while a blood glucose test isn't perfect, it is the most accurate tool we have in the at-home setting. And the glucometer I use in the test actually has an MARD score in the fives. So much more accurate than either the Libre 2 or 3. So this will be the baseline for comparison for the test. So. On day one, the blood glucose was 94, the Libre 3 was reading a 116, and the Libre 2, 99. So this was day one, and day one for most CGMs is a little bit rocky. A lot of times the numbers are not as accurate during those first 24 hours. But the Libre 2 was only off by five points, which was really a surprise to me, because I expected the Libre 3 to be showing more accurate numbers even early on but the Libre 3 was actually off by 22 points on day one. So let's see how the rest of the 14 days played out. All right, so what about on day two? So day two, we can see by now both sensors have settled in a bit more. Accuracy is improving for both. Blood glucose was 99, Libre 3 was at 107, and the Libre 2, 96. So while the Libre 3 was only off by eight points, which is very impressive, the Libre 2 once again comes in a bit more accurate, being only off by three points. So again, day two, another bit of a surprise for me with the Libre 2 once again proving to be a bit more accurate. All right, so on day three, day three, the Libre 2 once again is really shining here. It was exact to a finger stick. 71 was the finger stick, 71 was the Libre 2 reading. So off by zero points, which is very impressive. Um, Libre 3 was off by 16 points, so not terrible, but this honestly was not at all what I was expecting to see. But again, we're only a few days in at this point, so let's see what it kind of looks like as the days continue to progress as the week goes on. So day four, I wanted to include some blood sugar swings in there because this is an area that's a bit more challenging for CGMs. Anytime your blood sugar is rapidly rising or rapidly dropping, CGMs typically lag behind and will not be as up to date as a finger stick will be because they're measuring interstitial fluid compared to blood. Um, the roller coaster analogy is a popular way to visualize this with the blood glucose being in that front car there and then the sensor glucose kind of riding behind, lagging behind. So day four was a prime example of that. So on this day, I gave my insulin a little bit late for a meal. I kind of slipped up. So my blood sugar started to rise. And um, at a certain point, though, the insulin started to kick in and it started to drop. So we can see the finger stick accurately represents that glucose level that was starting to drop. But the CGMs, both the Libre 2 and the Libre 3, were still showing the previous elevation in glucose levels, as we can see here. Now, they were both off by quite a bit. And again, it's kind of expected anytime you have those blood sugar swings up or down, 37 and 40 points. Um, but the Libre 2, again, was a bit more accurate. Much smaller margin here, though, only better by three points. But still more accurate of the two, as we can see on day four. Now, day five... This is when it finally happens. Uh, Libre 3 starts to pull ahead. Um, we can see the finger stick was at 91. 
The Libre 3 is at 83, so only 8 points different than the Finger Stick. And the Libre 2 was at 80, so 11 points different. Um, so Libre 3 was a little bit more accurate of the two sensors on day 5. And I was hoping this is where things were going to start to change for the Libre 3. Um, but then day 6, Libre 2 once again proved to be more accurate, as we can see here, only being off by 11 points compared to the Libre 3, which was off by 24 points. So we had a little bit of a good day for the Libre 3, and then right back to the Libre 2 being more accurate on day 6. Day 7 was another day I was spiking a bit higher. Um, we could see the Libre 3 was a bit more accurate on this day, only being off by 3 points, whereas the Libre 2 was off by 11. So up to this point, 5 days the Libre 2 was more accurate, and 2 days the Libre 3 was more accurate. Again, I was a bit surprised by these results, although I must say both sensors have been fairly accurate up until this point. All right, on day eight, my finger stick was 116. We can see the Libre 2 was at a 128, so only off by 12 points. Libre 3 was at a 136, so off by 20. Again, another day here, the Libre 2 was a bit more accurate. Day nine, I was coming in at a 108. Libre 2 was showing a 104. Libre 3 was showing a 112. This is an exact split here. They were both off by four points, so no winner on day nine. Um, day 10, we can see my finger stick was running a little bit lower. I was actually at a 64, and the Libre 2 was pretty close at a 68, and the Libre 3, not off by much, it was at a 73, but the Libre 2 was still a bit more accurate, only off by four points compared to the Libre 3 being off by nine. On day 11, uh, my finger stick was 116. Libre 2, very, very close, only off by one point. Libre 3 was off by a bit more, uh, 25 points. And this was what I was kind of starting to notice. Um, and this may just be, you know, sometimes you get a batch of sensors that are off by a little bit more, you know, the calibration from the factory maybe was off by a bit. But I found in general, most days the Libre 3 was reading a bit higher. So that just may have been the calibration coming from the factory. Um, but that's what I kind of saw that trend. So again, we can see that here, the Libre 3 was reading a bit higher than the finger stick and certainly a bit uh, higher than the Libre 2. Um, day 12 was uh, 91 finger stick and the Libre 3 had another more accurate day here. So you can see Libre 3 was showing a 105. So only off by 14 points compared to the Libre 2, which was off by 19 points. And then day 13, so day 13 I was running much lower, which is another area CGM sometimes struggle with. As we talked about before, anytime you're spiking quickly or dropping quickly, CGMs, they can just lag behind. And that's what we see here. Remember that roller coaster visual. So my finger stick was down to a 52, but the Libre sensor was still showing me at 63 off by 11 points. And the Libre 3 was running even further behind off by 20 points at 72. So they were both off by a bit, but again, the Libre 2 once again proved to be a bit more accurate and up to date on day 13. And then finally, the last day here, they were both pretty accurate at this point as most of the time with CGMs, as the days go on, it gets more and more accurate. So 14 days, I was at a 90 finger stick. Libre 2 was at a 94. Libre 3 was at a 98. Both were very accurate. Uh, Libre 2 was a bit more accurate though on day 14. So we have 14 days of data. Let's look at what we found over the 14 days. So the Libre 3 was more accurate than the Libre 2 on only three of the 14 days. The average difference that I found when I calculated everything out from a finger stick was a value of 15.78. So the average difference from a finger stick was at 15.78. Honestly, that's not bad at all. That's a very accurate CGM. Um, but if we compare that to the Libre 2, which was more accurate than the Libre 3 on 10 of the 14 days, remember one of the days was a draw, so there was no winner there for either. Um, the difference on a finger stick was down to 9.5 points compared to 15.78 with the Libre 3. So we can see overall in this test that I did, the Libre 2 was more accurate. So both sensors were very accurate. I feel both of them will give you reliable readings, but in the end, even with the reports of the improved MARD of the Libre 3, surprisingly, I did find the Libre 2 to provide more accurate readings. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me know in the comments your personal experience with accuracy with either the Libre 2 or the Libre 3. And thank you as always for watching the video.